Oh, come on, quick. Wait, so, James, what? James, what? where's Tim? Uh, I forgot, he got in the car. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what about his stories? You got it. Don't you? I mean, uh, it's the same thing. There's a teleprompter out there. This okay, um, all right, but where are John and Nick? Well, don't you know that we're in the same accident? What? Yeah, it's common knowledge. Everybody should know. So they're not coming either? No, they're not. No. Um, you got this, though, don't you? I mean, I, you watch the sports and the weather every day. I took. I don't. You I don't right there. I don't. I don't know what they say. I don't even watch sports. You got this. It's all right. Uh, but okay, look. You know what? I don't know what sports. I don't. I don't. I don't know the weather. Do you I, understand English? You sit right here. I do. Okay. You know. Okay. You got this. It's all right. I got this. You know. Okay. You know what? And we're on in okay. three, yeah, two. Welcome to Fox 13 News at 5. I'm Cameron Porter, and this is my co-anchor. Cameron... Porter. As you know, here at Fox 13, we believe in unbiased, prioritized news. We also believe in being prepared. So, that's why, um, uh, um, breaking news! There was a fender bender in Fourth North and Bountiful today, several hundred dollars of cosmetic damage, and little seven-year-old Jenny was scared. <laughs> in other news, in other news, uh, Israel is attacking Palestine, inciting what many are call, already calling World War III. In political news. <laughs> President <laughs> Oh Abba. Obama did something stupid today, which caused a negative reaction among the public and probably hurt his chances for re-election this fall. On the other hand, Mitt Romney walked on water late yesterday after healing a leper and saving a small child from a burning treehouse. <laughs> Investigations have yet to unravel how the treehouse got fired in the first place. <laughs> Foul play by a left-wing party or foolish play by the small child. <laughs> Go ahead and send us a shout-out. What do you think? Go on to our website and go on our forum and tell us what you think caused the fire. Don't have internet? That's okay too. Just text it in to 37549. Text Treehouse Burning and what you think caused the fire. <clears throat> now, now, um, I believe, I believe that's everything we have here. And now, now to. Now to Cameron for our weather. All right, weather. So, um, currently it is uh, sunny with just a few clouds. Looks like it's starting to get a little dark, like a, like a duskish type feel. Um, anyway, over the next uh, few hours. Maybe days. Over the next little while, uh, it looks like at the northern end of the state, we've got some uh, pretty intense, colorful arrows <laughs> going down there. And then here at the uh, southern end of the state, near St. George, we've got a, a large, jaggedy line that's pushing down repeatedly doing something. And now to our 70 forecast. We got a, got a seven, 
We don't, we don't, we don't have a set, we, we don't have a seven day for Okay, well, uh, rather than telling you the seven day forecast, um, I think I'll just entertain you for just a, one quick moment. Um, you know what they say, uh, whether the weather is hot or whether the weather is not, we weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Um, you know what else I can say about weather? Uh, there's always a hundred percent chance of weather! <laughs> Yeah, weather is uh, just that cool, um, and so weatherful um, and amazing. Okay, so tomorrow we go to high of 86 and a low of 67. Sunday we have a high of 91 and a low of 71. Monday we have a high of 92 and a low of 70. Tuesday we have a high of 91 and a low of 66. Wednesday we have a high of 86, low of 67. Thursday a high of 80, low of 59. And Friday a high of 83, low of 60. Thank you, HTC. <laughs> now back to you, Cameron. Thank you, Cameron. <laughs> that was the best weather report I ever heard. <laughs> yes, I totally, 100% agree. In fact, you deserve a raise. No, no better yet. You deserve to work for a different news station. In fact, if I were you, I would turn in my two weeks notice right after this broadcast. <laughs> but enough chat. I hear it was an exciting day in the sports world. We're going to turn down over to Cameron at sports. I just thought Cameron said before, he at Fox 13, we believe in being completely unbiased towards those left wing nutcases. So at Fox 13, we also believe in focusing on individual and real people. And that is why today, I ain't going to talk about no national sports news. I'm going to talk about the ultimate frisbee game that I played yesterday. All right. It was 9-9. Nine -nine. We got the frisbee at the other team's goal line, right on the edge of their goal line. And some, and I got the frisbee right here in my hand. And someone starts counting down. And I know one knows why. It ain't time. And he said time, nine, eight, and seven, and six. And I get the frisbee here, and I'm all stressed out. And I see, all of a sudden, I see William, my buddy Will, the man Will. He's way out there, out in the field, at the far end of the field. And I see him, and I see he's all alone, he's all alone out there. So I, I take my frisbee, and I, and I wind up, and I throw it as hard as I can. And I throw that frisbee, and it's going out there, it's going out there. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the wind catches it, and it starts going to the right. And William, he gets a look in his eyes, he gets a look in his eyes like he's about to get shot. And he just runs, he tears up, going for that frisbee, he's going for that frisbee as hard as he can. And the frisbee's coming down like this, that person's still counting down. I don't know why, but he's saying three, and two, and one. And then William, he's running like this, he's running like this, he with his hands out stretched. And he, he sees that frisbee, his hands closed down on that frisbee. And then wham! He runs right to a soccer goal post. <laughs> Next time he opened his eyes, he saw the inside of a hospital room. And he was still holding on to that frisbee. <laughs> That's it for sports. Now back to you, Cameron. Thank you, Cameron. That was an invigorating report on your ultimate frisbee game. On behalf of Fox 13, <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for being with us tonight. Just a reminder, tune in again at 9 p.m for our next report, which is basically a repeat of what we just talked about, and anything that may have happened in the following four hours. Yeah, thank you, and good night.